Hello, this is Patrick from 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is demonstrate how we can easily create blueprints from a solid model using 1CNC XR5. Now, this ability is available within Mill Expert, and it's called the Pages command. It's located right down here at the bottom of the screen. You can see I've already created a solid model. Let's go into Pages, and the first thing we want to do is add a page. So I'm going to select Add a Page, and from this dialog box, we can select from some predefined templates. If you want to, you can create your own custom templates and save them and use them. You can go with custom size if you like. I'm going to just use templates. We'll go with A1. You can also change these attributes down here as well if you'd like. But let's keep it simple. So there's A1. I'm going to click OK. And here's the blueprint. Now the next thing we want to do is start adding some views. So how about a top view? I'm going to grab top view. And here's a preview right here. If that looks good, we're going to go with place view on page. The dialog box disappears. And now we can drag this anywhere that we'd like. I'm just going to left hand mouse click that. How about a front view? I'm going to grab front view. There's the preview. Place view on page. It's easy to line it up as well. I'm going to place that right there. How about an isometric view? Place view on page. And let's place that right about there. All right, and the idea is that you place your different views on the screen, and then you can use your standard dimensioning tools over here to start dimensioning. Now, I'm not going to dimension everything, but I just want to give you an idea of what can be done. So let's, let's make a vertical dimension right here. That looks good. How about a horizontal dimension? And of course, you can change the colors and things like that, but I'm just giving you an idea. How about a diameter dimension? Let's grab that diameter right there and push that down. That looks great. Now, you can also make cross-sectional views if you'd like. Let me demonstrate how to do that. First off, though, I'd like to show you there's some arrows that have been activated down here. You can use these arrows to toggle back and forth between your working space, which is this right here, or your different blueprints and views and things like that. All right. So how do you make a cross-sectional view? Well, we use construction planes for that. So let's say we want to create a cross-sectional view right through the center of that pocket. To do that, I'm going to go to construction plane. And let's simply just change that to YZ. I'm going to turn it on so you can see it. All right. So that's going to be our cross-sectional view. Let's toggle back to our blueprint. That looks good. We'll go back into pages. And you'll see here there's an option called Create Section from Plane. As soon as I click that, a new section gets created down here. If I select that, there's the cross-sectional view. If I want to place that on the screen, I just put Place View on Page. And I can put this anywhere that I'd like. All right, another really neat thing, too, is that this is all dynamic. It'll dynamically update. Let me demonstrate. Let's head back over here. I'm going to put my construction plane back to the XY plane. All right, that looks good. And let's make some changes to our model. How about we, let's do this. Let's head over here. And why don't we erase this hole? So let's go with remove hole or pocket. I'm going to grab that hole, right hand mouse click, and get rid of that. Why don't we add a chamfer over here. So to do that, we're going to head up here to our chamfer tools. Chamfer looks good. Let's make that about 400 thousandths. I'm going to grab that line there and that one there. All right, so our model's been updated, correct? So now let's go back into our pages. Doesn't look like anything's happened yet, but there's an option here called Update Page. As soon as I do that, you can see that your blueprint updates. The hole is gone, and now the fillets have, or the, excuse me, the chamfers have been added. So it's a very, very powerful tool. And again, just to recap, this is available within Mill Expert and 1CNC XR5. Very simple to use. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to start to take a look at some manufacturing tools provided by 1CNC XR5. I look forward to seeing you then.